As we work with our online students, it's important to make sure that we meet and honor each of their individual needs. To do this, we need to provide students with the information on available tools and resources. The purpose of today's tutorial is to demonstrate the use of read aloud and text to speech options that are available in Edmentum, which is our online learning platform. One of the great things about Edmentum is that it provides various accommodations and modifications that teachers can use with their students. Today, we are going to focus on the read aloud and text to speech options that are available for our students in this program. So let's take a look at Edmentum and a course within it. When I head over to Edmentum, I am going to take a look at seventh grade ELA. On this page, we can see the options that the students are working through, and I am going to click on Defining Characters in Fiction, and this is a tutorial for a student. As the tutorial opens up here, a video is going to play, and we'll just pause that. And we are going to find a page within the tutorial that actually has text on it. And it looks like right here, this is a good place for us to use on it as an example. So when students initially open up the M page through the tutorial, none of the text is automatically read aloud for them. However, in this upper right hand corner, there is an option for students to press play and have the text read to them. Students would need to select this option on each of the slides as they page through. There is an easier way to do this though, and that's what I want to talk about next. So let's take a look over here on the left-hand side in the blue column. Uh, we want the talking head, and which is labeled reading tools. And so as you click on this, you'll see that there are two options for students in regards to reading tools. We have slide narration, and we also have click to speech. Now, as you can see, these options are not automatically turned on for students, and so they will need to do that themselves. What I am going to first look at here is slide narration. So with slide narration, when this is turned on, the text will automatically be read for students as they page through the tutorial. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the slide narration. And as I do this, in this lesson, you will examine different types of characters in fiction. The text is automatically read for the student. As I page through the tutorial, we'll find a page with some actual content on Warm it. Up. People often go through emotional, physical, and mental changes. Think about someone. The text is read again automatically as they page through. Now, with the automatic text, students in the upper right hand corner have the option to pause the text as it is being read as well. So they don't have to listen to the whole thing the full way through if for some reason they need to pause for an interruption. So that's something that is neat with this feature as well. Again, as they turn that on, the text is just automatically read for them as they page through the tutorial. So let's go ahead and turn this option off for now. And I wanna take a look here now at click to speak. So click to speak is essentially the opposite of slide narration in that it's not automatic for the students. So when students turn on click to speak, in order for the text to be read, the students need to actually click on the text that they would like read. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and I am going to just click right here where the text is. People often go through emotional, physical, and mental changes. Think about some. Using the notebook tool, write a 100 word paragraph about this person, how they've changed, and what made you notice the changes. So as you can see, the text is highlighted and each word is marked as it is read aloud by the narrator. So we click to speak, as the student pages through the tutorial, he or she would need to make sure to click on the text that needs to be read on each individual slide. So that's the difference between slide narration and click to speak. The read aloud and text to speech options in Inventum are excellent tools for students who need assistance in reading or who simply just like to hear their text read aloud. Follow me for more tech tips and we'll see you next time on Titan Tech.